Hello, we are here at NAM in uh, the beautiful California and I wanted to show you uh, something of our news. We are top for music electronics and uh, mainly we manufacture uh, analog modular synthesizers. Um, I think one of the most important news are the vintage edition of uh, some of our modules. We will offer from uh, probably March all mod modules which are required to build a classical uh, modular synthesizer in this new design with uh, black panels and uh, vintage type knobs. We will offer for example the VCOs, the 2040B low pass filter, noise modules, mixers, envelope generators, LFO, multiple a MIDI interface, a sample and hold, and a ring modulator, and a few more. Uh, after all, all you need uh, to build a classical uh, synthesizer. And probably in April we will also offer the, the sequencer modules, the A150 Warp 4, the 55 and the 56, also in this black design. The prices of uh, the black modules will be a little bit more than the gray ones, because uh, the black panels are a little bit more expensive and especially the, these custom-made knobs are, are a bit expensive. So the, the, the additional prices will be probably between 5 euros for modules without knobs and up to 15 euros for modules with, with many knobs. So that's uh, the additional price range. We also have uh, a couple of new modules which you see here. All these modules with this uh, crazy designs are new ones, but this design is just for the show. We will not offer it uh, in this version. What we did is we uh, simply uh, took self-adhesive foils like this one. These are a few examples. And we simply uh, used this to stick it on a, on a standard panel and that's for example how it looks after the foil is sticked to the panel. It can be made very easily uh, because there are available self-adhesive uh, foils in, uh, in office shops and you can print it with a color laser printer or a color ink printer and you can uh, this way design your, uh, your custom module. You can also put a picture of your dog on it or whatever, or your wife or whatever you want. So we will not offer it in this way, but we will offer probably uh, the templates for the customers so that they, they can uh, make their, 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 their own designs. Well, these are the new modules we have. I think the most important new module is uh, this one. It's a so-called trapezoid through zero quadrature VCO. So what does that mean? Trapezoid means that the core of the VCO is not a, a triangle or a sawtooth, but two um, trapezoids, you see it like that. These two trapezoid outputs uh, have a phase shift of 90 degrees and it's very easy to obtain the other waveforms like triangle or sawtooth or rectangle uh, by adding or subtracting these uh, trapezoid waveforms. So the resulting waveforms are much cleaner uh, than uh, from other wave shapers. For example, if you have a sawtooth uh, based VCO, you have always small glitches in the, in the triangle or in the sine wave because of the, uh, the basic shape, which is then uh, a sawtooth. In addition, uh, it has uh, the through zero feature, that means you have an exponential control section for the usual uh, one world per octave uh, control, and you have a linear section, which is used for uh, linear modulation and linear through zero modulation. So this is a very versatile uh, VCO because you have 10 waveforms available. At the same time, you have uh, the trapezoid, we have the sine 
you have the triangle, you have the sawtooth, and you have the rectangle, which are five, and you had each of the waveforms also with a 90 degrees in phase shift. So you can really do a lot of this. In addition, you have a, a through zero function. We also will have another through zero which VCO, it's this one, but this is a triangle based. It's a, a simple triangle based through zero VCO with, with all the standard outputs like uh, saw tool and rectangle tool. And we also have a new filter, it's the A121-2. Uh, after all, it's nothing but the filter of the Dark Energy 2. A lot of our customers were asking if we could offer the filter of the Dark Energy 2 as, uh, as a module, and that's what we did with the A121-2. The only difference is that it also has a voltage control over the resonance, which is not possible for the Dark Energy 2, but the sound is essentially uh, the filter sound of the Dark Energy 2. And we also have uh, some uh, utility modules. This one is the A168. It's a pulse with the generator, which can be used uh, to obtain um, voltage controlled pulse width for example, from an oscillator which has no uh, rectangle available. We offer, uh, since a few uh, months, for example, the quadrature through zero VCO, which has only sine outputs. If you want also rectangle, just use uh, this PBM generator module. And another very important application is uh, in combination with LFOs. You can put in uh, the triangle or the, the sawtooth of an LFO and then you obtain a LFO rectangle with voltage controlled uh, pulse width, which uh, is very important for some applications. And most LFOs do not have uh, rectangle output with uh, controllable pulse width, so this is uh, very useful for, for this application. And we also have another small utility module, it's the A184. Uh, it's not nothing new, it's just uh, a combination of functions which uh, are already available in other modules. It is a combination of a ring modulator, a sample and hold and track and hold unit and a slow limiter. So far these are available as separate dual modules. But this module is a very, very small module which has uh, all this function as a combination in one module only. And I think the last important information is that uh, the trigger sequencer A157 is now in production. Uh, it will be shipped in, in February so that you can expect that uh, it will be in the shops maybe in March or April. It depends upon the orders uh, from the shop in question. It will be 500 euros for all three uh, modules together. They will be available only as a complete set because they need each other. And uh, yes, I can show you a little bit uh, how it works. I have prepared um, an analog sequence which you hear now. This uh, sequence is generated from the analog sequencer. The analog sequencer uh, controls two VCOs which run uh, through a WASP filter. And I also use uh, the ratcheting controller module to uh, obtain these, these ratcheting functions where you have at different steps of the sequence different numbers of clock pulses and you can combine this uh, now with uh, with a trigger sequencer the tr for the trigger sequencer I have five outputs connected to percussion sounds and I just uh, turn on and off now the rows of the sequencer with the trigger sequencer
play around with setting or resetting all the steps of the sequencer. We have mute buttons where you can turn on and off each, each of the tracks individually. Yeah, well I think this uh, are the most important information from our uh, booth at the NAM. This was Top for Music Electronic and good luck.